All right. So what this portion is going to do, be used for is conversion. Okay. So this is the way we're going to use it. After the skip, there's a function called here map. And I'm going to use this variable called map here. Okay. So you know what? I don't want to name that map just to avoid confusion. I'll call it conversion. This is what we're going to use for our conversion. Okay. So here I'm going to make this take in a conversion. Okay. Doesn't like this. Why doesn't it like this? Oh, okay. See what happens here. I'm telling it to return a T here. And this is right now going to return a list of strings. This is what this will do for now. Okay. Because this is what I'm telling it to return. I don't want this to return a string. I want it to return to whatever I convert it to. So I'm going to put here T to tell it to convert it to whatever I want it to. And notice that the error is gone now. Okay. So this represents the conversion that I'm going to do. This will skip a row. This is a conversion. I'm going to save it. I just want to see if this breaks anything. Okay. Because I just added this parameter. All right. And if it breaks something, that's okay. Okay, nothing's broken, so this is good so far. My two tests passed that I had. But imagine if I had hundreds of tests. That's the way I was looking at it, and we'll add more tests later on. Okay, now let's take advantage of this function here. So I'm going to go here to the test again. Let's add one more test. Do a control C, control V here. I'm going to call this T3. Okay. Now, what I'm going to tell it to do is return me a list of integer in this case. Okay. And right now, of course, it's not working. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say here E. And then return three. Notice how this works now. Because this is a lambda expression and this means this is the input coming in. So imagine a function that has one parameter coming in. Okay. And this represents the return type. So if I were to run this, all it's going to do is say three, 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 because it's going to take this input and just convert it to a three. So watch when I run this. All you get is three, 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 three. But I'm just trying to make a point. This is the input. This is, this is the, um, this is the output. And of course we defined it here integer. So watch if I put a string here, this wouldn't work. Okay. Because I've defined this as a integer. If I make this a string now, see now that's good. Okay. So I was just trying to make a point there. Let's do integer again and make this a three. Now, this is just a shortcut. This can actually just be a regular method. And just to make a point, I'll do that. I'm going to create a method here, public static, but it has to meet this signature. It has to take in a string. I'll call this um, and return an integer. So it's going to return an integer. I'm going to call this boo boo just to make a point. And I said it takes in a string. I'll call it X here. And I'm going to make it return five. Okay. Public static and stuff like that. Now I said, now let's see if this meet the signature. So for me to make this work, I've got to put the name of the class that this class that I'm on in this example, test oh here goes the actual the signature right here i'll click on that and if you notice look how it fits the compiler is not complaining because remember i told you that lambda expression that i wrote was the shortcut for this i take in a parameter of string and i return an integer if i were to run this now let's run this again i should get now five 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 but the whole idea, I can do whatever conversion I need to do in here. And it's up to me. Okay. So this is one way I can convert this to anything that I want. Okay. 
or do something of course better than what I'm doing here but you can see that I can do the conversion I'm gonna click here on 